Xiaomi has been expanding their product portfolio here in India. They started off with smartphones. If you remember, they started off with the Mi 3. But now they've branched out into one of the largest consumer tech empires in India. From phones to TVs to routers to air purifiers, there are a ton of products that are being sold by Xiaomi and some brand Redmi. But their laptop lineup, well, that's kind of been missing here in India. And that seems set to change. Redmi is supposed to be bringing their laptops and these laptops, Redmi's current, current range of laptops, their Redmi books, that's what we're going to be taking a look at in today's video. Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retech and if you do end up liking what you see, please go ahead, turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Let's now get this video started. Now, Manu Kumar Jain, Xiaomi's VP, in the past he's mentioned that he'd like to see Xiaomi's laptops in India and nothing seems to have come off it yet. Now, Xiaomi started off their laptop line with the Mi Notebook Air in China and while it looked and felt pretty much like a MacBook Air clone, the overall built-in performance it impressed us. Uh, from the initial launch, Xiaomi have expanded their lineup with several laptops geared towards productivity and even gaming. but as mentioned earlier, sadly, India has not seen any of them. With the spin-off of Redmi as a separate sub-brand and laptops under the Redmi book branding, the chances of seeing some of these in India, they kind of went up. Now, yesterday, we learned that Xiaomi have registered that Redmi book trademark in India, which has all but confirmed an imminent Redmi book launch here. Now, given the insane success of the Redmi sub-brand with its phones, can we expect a repeat of the same with the laptops? Now to answer that, we're going to have to start with what kind of laptops are we talking about? Well, just about a month back, Redmi had launched their 13-inch Redmi books in China. Powering these are the 10 Gen Intel i7 and i5 CPUs. There's 8 gigs of RAM, up to 512 gigs of solid state storage, and even a dedicated NVIDIA MX250 GPU. Now this should be able to get us playable frame rates with eSports or older AAA games when coupled with the U these U-series quad-core 8-threaded processors which is pretty much par for the course for budget-oriented ultrabooks like these. Now these Redmi books, they are ultrabooks, they're not gaming laptops, they aren't performance beasts and they are not expected to be. This one's pretty slim at just 16-ish millimeters and it weighs in at 1.2 kilograms which is super light. Now that's despite sporting an all-metal body and Redmi has still managed to provide a decent array of I.O. So we have two full-sized USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, an HDMI port, a 3.5mm jack and a power port. This is supposed to charge the 40 watt hour battery inside up to 50% in just 35 minutes. In this battery, Redmi claims it should be able to power this Ultrabook for 11 hours straight on a single charge. Okay, so that's the Redmi Book 13. But that's not the only Redmi Book they have in their lineup. There's also a larger model, the Redmi Book 14. This one comes with the older Gen, uh, 8 Gen i7 or i5 processor, still the same quad core 8 threads, a similar GPU, 8 gigs of RAM, again up to 512 gigs of solid state storage. So what has changed here? Of course, you know the screen size, it's got a 14 inch screen, hence Redmi Book 14. Now to power the larger screen, Redmi is offering a slightly higher capacity 46 watt hour battery. It's got the same fast charging tech built in, just like with the Redmi Book 13. Now given there is some extra space to be had, Redmi have managed to cram in an extra USB 2 port. But all this does come in at a cost. Now the cost, apart from the actual cost, you know the price, the money of course, is a 300 gram increase in weight. The 14 inch Redmi book weighs in at about 1.5 kilograms, which is still extremely light. And that about wrap, okay, actually that doesn't wrap up things because we still have more. There is a Ryzen edition that swaps the i5 and i7 with NVIDIA combo with a Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 7 APU instead. The rest remains more or less similar. And finally, there's also an enhanced edition of the Redmi Book 14. This is basically the same as the Intel version of the Redmi Book 14 that we just saw, but it comes with the newer 10th generation i5 and i7 processors instead of the 8th gen. The price actually remains unchanged, so it kinda is a free upgrade. Now, if it's an upgrade, if it's a new version that comes at the same price or even cheaper, 
Why are we even talking about the older Redmi Book? Now, the reason I'm mentioning both in this video is because both these Redmi Book 14s, the 8th Gen and the 10th Gen ones, uh, I mean the ones with the 8th and 10th Gen CPUs, they're both being sold in China as of now. And we don't know which one might end up in India, so I thought I'd give you guys all the information I can. Now, I'm not saying Xiaomi's gonna bring the older ones to India, but I'm just, I just wanna give you guys all the information. So overall, uh, while the Redmi books seem pretty interesting, it's nothing groundbreaking, groundbreaking, right? It's nothing we've not seen before. So what's the hype all about? Well, it's Redmi, so it's the aggressive pricing. The 13-inch Redmi book starts at 44.99 yuan, which converts to about 46,500 rupees. The newer 10 gen powered 14-inch model actually starts at 39.99 yuan, or about 41,000 rupees. There's even a, a i3 4 gig RAM option at 29.99 yuan. Now pause for a minute or so that you can take a look at all the specs and the relevant pricing. Now at these prices, we don't really have anything else in the Indian market that comes close to these from a build or even purely a specs perspective. I mean, unless Realme comes out with your Realme books or something like that. i5 10 gen ultra books like this one from MSI costs as much as 60,000 rupees as of now. Okay, to be fair, there are 8 gen i5 machines like this Asus Vivo book and it costs 42,500, so pretty similar to price uh, to the 10 gen uh, 14 inch Redmi book, but it doesn't look quite as good. The build doesn't seem to stack up and neither do the specs. For example, it's got an 8 gen i5 and the MX130. Uh, so you get where I'm going with this, right? Basically, the Redmi Book offers a unique blend of lightweight design, excellent build quality, and decent performance, all at an affordable price point, a combination that's pretty much unrivaled in the Indian market as of right now. Of course, all this, you know, the hype, the excitement, it's all based on the fact, uh, in fact that Redmi, based on the assumption rather, that Redmi is going to manage to launch uh, these Redmi books at close to Chinese pricing. Because if they don't, of course there are plenty of, plenty of alternative options to choose from. Uh, the specs as I mentioned, they aren't revolutionary. Another thing to keep in mind is the software. Redmi bundles the Redmi books with a bunch of their own services. And some like their cross-platform file sharing app is pretty useful. In fact, I'm hoping that the file sharing as well as uh, unlocking via Mi Band functionality makes their way onto the Indian units. But other functionality like Xiaomi's integrated cloud services aren't really gonna make a difference in a market outside China. Since here we're gonna basically use Google Drive or Dropbox. So would these changes in software affect the final price tag? Well, that's something only time will tell. So I guess that's pretty much it about the Redmi box. What do you guys think? Is this something that interests you? And if yes, uh, if, I mean, would you be interested in picking a Redmi book up when it launches in India? Which one are you more excited for the, I mean, the Intel version or the Ryzen version, the 13 or the 14 inch? Uh, and what do you think would be a fair price? Let me know in the comments below. And with that, I guess we get to the end of this video. Thumbs up, thumbs down based on whatever you felt about it. Subscribe, turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.